Blender, Blender, Blender. There is this crazy open source 3D software, which is going on a lot in the 3D world. As a newbie to the 3D world, I find it amazing that the things that we can do with Blender is just limitless. In this channel, we are going to see some Blender tutorials and stuff to get to know the software a little bit better. Enough with the chit chat, let's get into the video. What is Blender? I mean, technically, what is Blender? Blender 3D is a professional, open source 3D modeling and rendering package that is used by a whole range of professionals, from design and game developers, to architects and construction workers, to scientists, engineers, and medical professionals. It is a free and open source 3D rendering and compositing software that supports the entirety of 3D computer graphics. You can do modeling, sculpting, animation, rigging, VFX, compositing, rendering, even some basic video editing. First things first, how to download and install Blender? Just head over to blender.org website and click download. If you are using Windows, you can just download the installer. If you are using Mac OS or Linux, click here to download your installer. I will also give the links in the description for you guys. After downloading, let the installer run and install the Blender in your computer and open it. When you first start using Blender 3D software, it is easy to be overwhelmed. There are a lot of options and they all seem to be important. However, there are only a few that are needed to get started and be productive. For the first time users who are opening the Blender for the very first time, this is what the software throws in front of you. This little screen is called Splash Screen, where you can create a new file with some of the presets. I think those are self-explanatory. On the other side, there are recent files, which helps you get back to your previous session right away. Let's just click General for now. This is the default setup with a cube, a camera, and a light. This one right here is the top bar, and the big middle part here is the default workspace. We are going to be spending most of our time right here in this window. Down below, there is the timeline editor, which will be useful for animation. On the right, we got two windows. The top one is where you can see and select everything you create, and it will show them like a list. Right here, you can see there is a camera, cube, and a light, which are exactly what we have in our scene right now. We will discuss this window in detail in future videos. Below that, there is this menu kind of window is there, which is a whole lot of mess for a beginner. I'd say, just leave it as it is for now. You know, one step at a time. If we come back to the top bar right here, we can see different kinds of workspaces depending upon the need and nature of our work. In layout, we can do modeling and animation most of the times. So, that's why layout and modeling workspaces are pretty much the same. Sculpting is where you create your own character or things manually. I mean, the name itself speaks for it. We will see about the other workspaces in the upcoming videos. It's too much for day one. Now, coming to the axis, the red line is X axis and the green line is Y axis. You can't really see the Z axis in this view. But if you take a look at this gizmo right here, then you can see that the blue one is the z-axis. Another thing is, if you look at this little crosshair here, this is what we call the cursor. The point where all three axes intersect with each other is called world origin. I think this is enough for day one of Blender. We will just see the rest in the next video. Stay tuned for the next video and share and subscribe the channel.